This is the 10th time I've tried to do this intro, so I'm going to keep it really short. Dave and I are going to a friend's birthday celebration this evening, and I had to get ready, so I thought I would film it. I didn't intend for my eye makeup to get this dramatic. Can I salvage this? But I'm actually happy with it. If you're new here, this happens to me all the time. I make mistakes. I never have a plan and I show how I fix them, so I hope it helps you out in some way. Before we get on with the video, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. We have a beautiful group of women here. Everybody is so kind, and I'd love for you to join our community. Don't forget to say hi in the comments. I love getting to know you. I love to know where you're from. I'm going to keep this short. Let's get going. I'm in a situation again where I have to match my neck and my face to my shoulders. I self-tanned again. I knew I was going out tonight, so I wanted to look a little special. I ordered a couple new eyeshadow palettes like I need them. I don't need them. When I get new colors, I want to play. I got the Dior Backstage. This one is the Smoky Essentials, and this one is called the Warm Essentials. I think I'm in the mood for the Smoky Essentials. Yeah, that's what I'm in the mood for, for sure. We're going to a 60th birthday party tonight, and I want to look special. I already have my outfit picked out. I'm doing my makeup a little bit early today, so I need it to last. I moisturized after my shower, but it's all soaked in by now. So I'm going to use the MAC Hyper Real Serumizer Skin Balancing Hydrating Serum. I know that this is going to sit well under my makeup, and it feels good. I'm not going to worry about sunscreen because it's an evening event. I thought I was organized. You should see I'm all set up here. But what I wanted to try was the Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops. Oh, I don't know if it's going to go well over this or not. Let's see. That looks very gold. Let's see if I can boost my color up like this. Why am I putting it on the back of my neck? I'm wearing a white top tonight. I don't want a ring around my collar. Well, did that make a difference? Kind of. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Liquid Blush Brush. I like this brush. It's dense, it's inexpensive, and it really pushes the product in. This is the MAC Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Pen. I love this foundation. Look at that. Look at what that did under my eyes. I ordered a House Labs paint. This is the High Power Pigment Paint, and I got it in the color Beige Matte. And I thought this would be a nice option to try rather than the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm going to put a little bit of this on my hand. I'm using a Real Techniques brush. Oh, that spreads very nicely. I like an eyeshadow primer that cancels all the darkness out and provides a brightness. Yeah, just like Soft Ochre Paint Pot, only more moist. Let's see if that creases. We'll let that sit for a minute. This is a matte finish. There are shimmer finishes available. It's long wearing. It's made with vegan pigments that may stain skin and fabric, so be careful of that. So it is creasing a little bit. That's okay, I'm gonna put shadow over it anyway. The colors we have are Satin Pearl, Shimmer Beige, Satin Soft Rose, Metal Light Sand, Shimmer Soft Taupe, Shimmery Smoking Wood, Matte Deep Plum, matte mauve and then matte black i don't have room uh it says it's an all-in-one eyeshadow and primer palette with one primer and eight blendable shades in matte oh i know that's the case with the cool neutrals there is a primer in there but that didn't feel like a primer okay that's it let's just play i'm gonna go in with soft rose first this is a satin color and i'm gonna use a refer 15. maybe it will go smoother today than it normally does the shadows aren't dusty. They're very easy to use. They're user-friendly. They're elegant. I said this in another video, but they are elegant. I'm going to use my Nikki LaRose N13. Just want to show you the difference. So this refer brush is wider. The Nikki LaRose brush comes to a point. If I press lightly, I'm getting a very small area. But if I press more, I get a larger area. Where with the refer brush, it covers a wide area no matter what I do. I'm gonna go in with Shimmer Soft Taupe and just go over that area, but kind of more in the crease. Oh, that is creasing there. Hmm, interesting. So this is fitting right in there. And whatever's left on my brush, I'm gonna bring it up. And then I'm gonna take my refer brush and blend. I'm going to take a Refer 02, and the reason I'm choosing this is because it's flat and dense, so I can pack the color on. So I'm going to go into this color right here, which is Shimmer Beige. Yeah, see there? Oh, it did crease there. Did it grab? Painterly Paint Pot doesn't do that to me. Did I fix it? 
Yeah, I think so. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a halo eye tonight. I'm going to go into smoky wood, this one right here. And this is a refer number 12. It's going to create a smudgy look already because it's rounded. That's pretty nice and soft. Looking straight ahead, I can see I want to bring this up a little bit more. I am getting a little bit of fallout though. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> Oh, am I pushing too hard into the product? Well, I was planning for this to go so smooth and I've already flubbed up twice. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's all going to turn out in the end. And I'm just going to bring a little bit of that right in here. Just a touch, a shadow, not as dark as this one. I didn't have the same fallout on this side, and I think it's because I was more careful. That's what I did. I dipped in too hard. I'm sure of it. I have the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Mattes. This is in the color Blackout. I am nervous. This is why I'm getting ready so early, so I have time to fix it if I mess up. This one is the Smith Cosmetics 202 brush. No, you know what? I'm not going to use it, and that's why. Do you see how it's fraying? That is going to be messy. Abort that mission. Okay, this is a Beely brush. I talk about these brushes a lot. They are on Amazon. This is much better. I'm going to show you the difference. You see how clean that is? No fraying. That's what we need. And right against the lash line. I really would like a nice deep lash line. The reason I'm going up under is because if I create a line right here on top of the lid, it's going to take up some of my lid space, and I can't afford that. And there is that fold. I don't want it to go under there. Although I could. I could create a little flick right there. That's going to cause me trouble, though, I bet. Yep, that caused me trouble. Oh, it's a happy accident. Channel your Bob Ross. This is gonna be okay. Trust the process. It's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. I'm just getting thicker and thicker. Can I salvage this? Quite a look I got going here. This is where we just don't give up. We will be inspired by this accident. This is kind of cool. Okay, I'm lightening my touch now as I get up here. I'm going to go back into this color. We're going to keep going. And I'm going to go over the black now, which should soften it because it's a softer color. Imagine if I can get this to work. How am I going to do this on the other side? to remember all the accidents that I had to make it work out. I'm going to take an empty brush. This is an E25 and really try to soften that edge. Well, let's try this one. I want to kind of blend this out a little bit. Empty brush again. I'm using a lot of empty brushes. Just go around the edge there. I'm gonna go into this color and go over the edge here.
I'm surprised at myself that I haven't given up yet. Going into Pearl, I might really be sorry. And this is eye cream again, just making sure I get all of that off. I need a whole wipe. Okay, Shiseido cotton pad. Oh, I got messy today. Let me get my brow on here. Makeup is so much fun, especially when you give yourself time to get ready. I'm gonna use my Tower 28 mascara. Once you get the black mascara on, it doesn't look so bad. I'm going to use a Refer 28, and I'm gonna go into both, actually. This is the taupe and the rose. And I'm gonna tap the excess off. Maybe a bit of smoky wood. Gotta bring this color down. Now I'm gonna clean it up with concealer or the foundation. Foundation actually worked. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. This was supposed to be fast and it's not fast at all. I get so lost in it. I'll be back in a second. I ordered the Tower 28 one liner. This is a multi liner. What does that mean? Oh, I bet you it's like the Makeup Forever liners where you can use it on the lips and the eyes. I think this tone will be good because I got a lot going on here. This says it's a one liner, lip liner, eyeliner, and cheek pencil. The color I have is work of art and that's considered a pinky nude. Fragrance free, vegan, long wearing, hydrating. I'm gonna use my Say Do Bronze again. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand like that. I am a mess. I'm gonna push it into my BK Beauty 106 and just press it on like that. Down the nose a little. Should I try a new blush or am I pushing my luck? I'm gonna use a powder blush today. I'm gonna use Natasha Denona My Mini Dream Glow Blush with my BK Beauty 212. I'm gonna go into these colors more so than this. This is the glowy part. Still testing this out. This is the Pat McGrath Under Eye Blur Powder. I like it so far. No creases. Look at that. That's the foundation. And I don't have any creases under there. And that is going to be my brightener. Magic. And then my Huda Beauty. I just loaded up my Beely brush and tapping over all of that and then dusting off the bottom. Oh, I need lipstick. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Fair Medium Big Lip Plump Gasm Super Size and Maximize. Oh God, what have I gotten myself into? Oh, that's pretty though. Smells good. It's a much thinner consistency than I thought it would be. Oh, but I had goobers. I just put too much, did I? Let's pat that out. No, that's okay. While I wait to feel that, I'm gonna go back into this right here and go more on that shiny spot and lightly dust. This is actually not bad. I don't like lip plumpers very much. The only lip plumper I've bought that I like is the Buxom lip plumping glosses. This one's nice though. It's not as thick as the Buxom. It's a much lighter feel. It feels minty, but not burny. So I like that. Is it plumping my lips? All lip glosses are gonna make your lips look fuller. One more finishing touch. I'm gonna put some of the Swede liner on. This is called Bright to tidy that up a little bit. I love this pencil because it's not so in your face. It's not as opaque as some of them. I have this one from Sephora brand. This is heavy duty. The Sweet Beauty is nice and natural, I think anyways. It kind of disappears into my skin. The only thing I'm not a fan of is that this is quite shiny in here. I'm gonna try going into my Huda Beauty powder and see if I can settle that down. I think it did. Yeah, just a bit, eh? 
So it didn't take the color away, but it just took the shine. Good enough for me. As always, this was a bit of a roller coaster, but I hope it helps you in some way. I hope if anything, it helps you feel normal, that it's not always going to go the way you planned and that's okay. Don't panic. Just play. Use it as a happy accident and go with it. If you can help it at all, give yourself lots of time to get ready. And that way, if things don't go as planned, you're not panicking and you can just use it as a happy accident and go with the flow. I'm glad I did that because I really like the way this turned out. As always, all the products that I use today will be listed in the description box for you. They are affiliate links. If you use them, it does help me. If you don't, it's okay. I'm so happy you're here. Before you leave, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with all your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.